Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the iPad Only Show. And this is Augusto Pinot, and, and this is Michael Slewinski. We are the co-authors of the iPad Only book. And today we are going to talk about a couple of things, a couple of interesting things. Number one, we are going to talk about the new kid in town, that is a writing application called Editorial, and. After we talk about it, we are going to talk about the problem that some of these applications have for the iPad. Why? Because some of them are simply too easy to replace or not. That's part of what we're going to talk today. But let's just start talking about editorial. So how is editorial treating you, Michael? Because I know you were not an editorial user when we start writing our book. And when we finish our book, Obviously, the product was not in the market, and I somehow, according to you, convinced you to change to another application. So tell a little bit of that story before, and then tell us how is editorial working for you. Yeah, so I was working uh, in, uh, with several writing apps. And the cool thing about writing apps for the iPad are they're just really great. I mean, you know, you can't go really wrong, but they're improving all the time. And we are geeks, so we are always trying to search for something perfect. For, you know, for the best one. So I was writing in Nebulous Notes and sometimes in AirWriter, and they both were syncing with my Dropbox account. So when we started working on, working on the book, uh, the, the, the guy on the other side of the camera convinced me to use the ByWord application. And I switched to ByWord, and I really loved it. I loved the design, the simplicity, the full screen mode, uh, and the support for Markdown. And the Markdown is a kind of you know, um, uh, text uh, styling um, system which I use and which I really love. And Byword was fantastic, and we wrote the whole book, iPad only book, with Byword, both syncing with Dropbox. And then uh, the Byword guys decided to, you know, to mess up with their application. They launched, the, I mean, they, they made a decision, you know, why, we have a great product, why not to mess it up? So what they did is they, um, they actually, um, uh, you know, improved the, syn the syncing mechanism in such a way that it synced with Dropbox better which meant it synced with all of my Dropbox, and I have lots of files in Dropbox, which meant it started being slow, because the sync mechanism was coded in this, in this way that it was slowing my editor down. And this is a crazy thing, because by word, it's supposed to be an editor, you know, to write text and stuff. So when I was writing text, it was just slowing down because it was syncing in the background with my Dropbox, which was totally crazy. So um, I was getting, you know, nervous. I sent them some emails saying that, you know, I, I love your app, but you have screwed it up. But, you know, whatever. After several improvements, the, the Byword application still doesn't work as it, should, as it should. And then you sent me a tutorial, a new application. And I just downloaded it, synced with my Dropbox, and I'm using it now, and I'm really happy. So, the, so let me stop you there before yeah. you talk about the tutorial. So, because my experience was similar. I used Bywords, and I was so happy with them. And then they came the dreaded update that messed it up. I start having errors that I never had. I stopped getting it slow. I stopped having so much trouble that I was getting frustrated. And when editorial was launched, I downloaded, eh, let's see. And I really like it, what I got. It works really well. It do the little bar, even when you hide the screen. So that when you had the keyboard in the screen, it works incredibly well. And I was so, so happy with it. So that's the reason I send it to you. Uh, so you don't think that I send you anything that crossed my, my desk. But I was really, really, really happy with it. So tell us a little bit more about your experience with editorial. Yeah, so I'll start with the, with the, with the things that I did. That I, I still don't like. Is that, for example, in ByWord, if I start, ty start typing, things disappear. So like the menu disappears, you know, things disappear. So they, they, I have distraction-free writing. In editorial, it doesn't happen like that. I still have the menu bar on the top, and I have the keyboard things on the on the bottom, which makes sense. But the at the bottom, the, you know, the top menu could disappear. I would love that. But apart from that, I love it. It has a better markdown support than any other application I have, you know, used before. Uh, I use it all the time. And um, the cool thing about this app, and you know, the writing apps for the for the iPad is they're really easily replaceable, as you can see, because all of my content, so all of my text files are not in the iCloud, but they are in the Dropbox. If you would use the iCloud, then you would have a problem because iCloud is a different container for every application. But if you use Sync with Dropbox, you can just, you know, 
actually use several apps at a time with your Dropbox data, which I actually do. I still have my AI Write Writer application just in case I want to write something their style. So I have this one. But I remove Byword and I remove Nebulous Notes because I, you know, they are just similar to editorial and editorial is just better. And the editorial thing is, 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 uh, works very well, syncs very fast, which is cool. And the syncing mechanism doesn't slow down the editor, which is the most important thing for me. And the Markdown support is really fantastic. I have, a, I have an inline preview of Markdown, although it's text editor, so it's really good. Um, the, cool, the cool thing that they have, though, is that they have additional workflows and scripts, so we can automate lots of tasks. So, this is a good thing for them, because if I start using that, and if I start using the workflows there in editorial, and I get used to them, then it won't be so easy for me to switch from this application to a different one. So, in this sense, I think they're on a good path to do something additional than just an editor. And from what I read and the reviews and everything, it's a really powerful editor. And I still, you know, I just started using it. So there is still a lot to learn in it. But um, I'm excited about it. I think they are on, onto something really great. And we're talking about version 1.0 right now. So it's, it's going to improve, I'm sure. So hopefully they will not come up with the idea of, to, of doing version 2.0 when they, you know, screw this thing up. But, you know, we'll see. Well, we will see. But I agree. And that was the second part we wanted to bring here. Because... What is happening with text editors don't happen with every application. And text editors, in a way, as of today, are these replaceable applications that you change every time they get messed up by the developer or you find something that works much better. And mostly because everything lives in Dropbox. So, as you said, I just connect, configure the next one, and move on. But if these workflows or other things coming on future releases of these text applications is start making you more dependent of the application, it will be a game changer. And I think that's one of the things editorial bring that is totally new. You know, their workflows, as soon as you start understanding well how to exploit them, it will make you, it will make harder the process of living. As of today, all that I have used, plain text, write room, by word, i.e., you know, when they start being annoying or stop working, I can change them. I can even start working on one and finish on the other one. But I think editorial can change the game with these workflows, especially if they make the workflows user-friendly. And this is because what they're doing. And this is what actually they are doing. So this is this is they are doing like the automator thing. So they, they want to make you know scripting and all this stuff for the rest of us. So for really the their normal users. Well, uh, and that's the that's the you know you and I are not necessarily normal users, and that will be what well, editorial need to be careful that they really give it to the people who who really don't know how to do those things. You know, you and I learned when we wrote the iPad only book, we we wrote many of the things on what we consider was a basic level. And based on some of the feedbacks and some of the things we have learned, some of the things were not as basic as we originally thought. And true, when we have get the feedback, we have been able to see how that was not basic. And I hope the developer behind the editorial, get to see that and get to get help from people who really don't have those levels, and not only for gigs, because otherwise it will lose that big advantage of using those automated, automation and, and workflow stuff, because it will be advanced for, it will be basic for gigs maybe, but it will be advanced for maybe the average user. Yeah, and but uh, and so I wanted so I wanted to wrap, wrap, wrap this up uh, uh, this episode, um, saying that um, I wrote a, a very, I'm reading still it's a very long review of editorial on Mac Stories, so I encourage you to check it out. It's going to be in the show notes. Uh, so the the the, uh, the review um, is of a guy who is also iPad only, and uh, he says that. This automation, this automation, this wor these workflows in editorial and editorial as such, uh, proves a, 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 like, like a stepping stone to being iPad only. And I, I can confirm that. And I can confirm another thing: as a writer, 
I wouldn't want to write on anything else on an iPad. I, 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 when I have to write something, I, I, and even if I have my big screen of my, of my Mac Mini in front of me because I'm in my home office, so I could use the iMac Mini, if I want to write, I take the iPad. It's just the, the, the experience on writing on the iPad is just way better. I, don't, uh, I can't imagine writing on anything else. And especially these apps like Editorial help me with that. And uh, as this guy is saying, these workflows and automation can even help you go further iPad only. And for, for this guy, he says that this editorial app, app help him move iPad only and uh, forget about his Mac and his MacBook uh, to get the jobs done. So, um, you know, so check it out. Check out editorial. We have, you know, we are not, you know, this is not a sponsor of our show. We paid the full price for the app. So, you know, check it out and compare it with your, you know, editor and see how you like it. Yeah, I was happy to pay for that application. I'm happy to support developers and cool applications. And this one was one that it was really a game changer. And I was really, really happy to pay for it. And as iPad only, you know, book co-authors, our job is to test applications, check them out and, you know, attach them to our workflows and, uh, you know, move them to our iPad only life. So this is what we do. Oh. And see which ones can improve the iPad only life. Exactly. Exactly. So thanks, Augusto. And thanks, everyone. Thank you very much.